Yeah, it is now uh, 616. Listen, that's believable. I got it's not that far off, Russ Mitchell. I mean, <laughs> let's go with that. It's not that far off. And Betsy, look at Betsy. This is where <laughs> I have to be the bearer of crushing reality. <laughs> okay, here we go. I have to tell you, so when we went out to uh, St. Louis, actually we went out to Jefferson City mm -hmm. for the 2017 eclipse, and, and I brought you live coverage of that from out there. And they had you know, cloud cover, and then all of a sudden there was a break in the clouds mm -hmm. just as that eclipse took place, which is awesome. And they're like, yay, can't wait till April to be in Cleveland. I was like, well, there's this thing with Cleveland and clouds in April. <laughs> Yeah, we get a lot. So I thought I'd look it up. All right, so just a quick note about April. This is for the month of April. The average percent of possible sunshine for the month of April. Come on, clicker. Whoop, 52%. 52% possible sunshine on an average April day, okay? Now that's the total time that sunshine reaches the surface of the Earth. So as is expressed, it's a percentage of the maximum amount of possible sunshine from sunrise to sunset with clear sky conditions. Don't read the fine print, 52%. All I'm telling you is there's a chance. Don't think it's not gonna happen, but at the same time, we do have some challenges to overcome. Over the next few hours, temperatures are going to be uh, a little challenging for us. See, we can overcome challenges. We'll be in the 30s by the time we hit the midnight hour. We are still dealing with some rain. There's grapple falling right now in Northeast Ohio, specifically for you folks in Wadsworth and Norton, Barberton, up into Copley and Gent, uh, bath, <laughs> getting into the west side of Akron. This is a pretty heavy little shower that's coming in. So you're probably seeing some of those little pellets come down. Macedonia, the same thing. We've got some of that happening offshore too. But where you see the yellows and the reds, that's a sure sign that we have that grapple that is mixing in with the rain that is coming down. Mike Picha got this great video earlier today in Geauga County. He called it a hailstorm, but this is indeed grapple. What's the difference between grapple and hail? Hail is frozen raindrops. Grapple is a snowflake that falls through a super cool layer of water vapor and it has the little chunks of ice that is on it. So they actually look like styrofoam or dipping dots, if you will. A little bit of a different way that they're made. All of it's still frozen precipitation. All of it's still kind of hurtful by the time we get to this time of the year. Our storm system is just rotating through the Great Lakes. Here's the bad news. The core of the coldest air gets here tomorrow. It is still to come in tonight. So we will not see appreciable improving conditions tomorrow, but by Sunday, things are going to get better for us. Here's your national design by hour by hour forecast. Temperatures not going to be an issue for tomorrow morning. Just kidding. We'll be in the 30s to get the day going. We will have rain. We will have snow. We will have grapple tomorrow, too. And I think we're still going to get to see some peaks of sun. It's going to be another one of those kind of days. And as you can see in your union home mortgage forecast, it's not going to last long. 48 with clouds clearing by the end of the day on Sunday. Monday, we have a few showers, but we're back into the 60s. We're talking 70s in the middle of next week. And we're also talking about dry conditions for the Guardian's home opener on next Friday. Fingers crossed. Nick's up next with a wrap on sports.